In this lecture, we're going to look at the structure of benzene and aromatic hydrocarbons. By the end of the lecture, you should be able to explain the structure of benzene in terms of sp2 hybridisation and delocalised electrons. Explain why the benzene ring is a very stable structure. Recall what is meant by a phenyl group and work out the molecular formula of an aromatic compound from its structural formula. So far in section 2.4 we've covered alkenes, haloalkanes, alcohols, ethers, calvertsilic acids, amines and now finally the last part of section 2.4 we're going to look at aromatic hydrocarbons. So initially we're going to talk about benzene and aromatic hydrocarbons. Benzene because it is the simplest of the aromatic hydrocarbons. Benzene has a molecular formula C6H6. So we've got six carbons and six hydrogens. And the structure of benzene is sometimes shown in this format. This is the skeletal formula and this is the full molecular formula. So we have a, we have a ring of six carbon atoms. Each carbon is attached to one hydrogen, which of course isn't shown in the skeletal formula. And we've got alternating single and double bonds. Because we've got double bonds, that suggests that benzene is unsaturated, which we can test for by seeing if it decolorizes bromine water. Right here I've got some cyclohexene, so a ring of six carbon atoms with a single carbon-carbon double bond. So if I add some bromine water to it, give it a bit of a shake. We see that uh, the bromine water has been decolorized as you expect since the cyclohexene contains a carbon carbon double bond. Here I've got benzene. As you see, it's a colorless liquid. Uh, it's quite carcinogenic, so it's something that uh, you probably won't have a chance to use. So if I add some bromine water to this and give it a good shake. Well, compared with our cyclohexene, you see there's quite a big difference. The benzene does not decolorize bromine water. And what that we've got to conclude from that is that benzene does not actually contain carbon-carbon double bonds. So the picture that's up on the board describing the structure of benzene is obviously wrong because it has three carbon-carbon double bonds and this proves that benzene does not contain carbon-carbon double bonds. So we need to move on and come up with another structure for benzene. So we want to try and explain this observation that benzene does not decolorize bromine water which therefore tells us that it doesn't possess carbon-carbon double bonds which uh, contradicts what that previous picture I showed you suggested. So let's start by looking at those carbon atoms involved in the ring in a wee bit more detail. And let's look at the type of bonding that uh, occurs. So in benzene and aromatic hydrocarbons, the carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. So if you remember, that means the s orbital and two of the three p orbitals hybridize together to form three sp2 orbitals and they are denoted here in the grey. So they are the three 
hybridized sp2 orbitals and the blue represents the unhybridized p orbital the one that was not involved in hybridization so we've got six carbon atoms uh, that are like that so in the ring the three sp2 hybridized orbitals form sigma bonds one with each of the two adjacent carbons and one with the hydrogen it's attached to leaving an electron in the unhybridized p orbital now the electron in this p orbital and the electron in this p orbital can then form a pi bond by the sideways overlap of the two p orbitals but the electron in this p orbital is as likely to form a pi bond with this carbon as it is with this carbon and in fact it does both as do them all and this results in a ring above and below the ring of carbon atoms uh, and where you've got an electron cloud where all the p orbitals overlap together so we saw a similar thing in large conjugated systems in coloured hydrocolored uh, organic substances in which you have alternating single and double bonds you could get this large area of electron delocalization which brought down the homo lumo gap and allowed the substance to absorb ra visible radiation and so be coloured. Now this is a relatively small conjugated system so it's not enough to bring that homo lumo gap down out of the UV and into the visible region so as you saw earlier on benzene is in fact a colourless liquid but you do get this electron delocalization above and below the ring so you have actually got a carbon carbon double bond and furthermore this electron delocalization makes the structure very stable we saw this in carboxylic acids the delocalization of the electron stabilized the carboxylate ion the delocalization of these electrons stabilizes that carbon carbon ring and in the next lecture when we look at the reactions of uh, benzene and aromatic hydrocarbons we'll notice that we don't change this basic structure of the ring because that's really stable it's just the things joined to the ring which we can alter okay so that's the structure of benzene and you have to be able to explain that in quite a lot of detail all the other aromatic hydrocarbons that we're going to look at are just obtained by removing one or more hydrogen and sticking on something else instead we're not going to mess up the basic six-membered ring structure so a benzene ring in which one of the hydrog hydrogens has been substituted by another group is known as a phenyl group oh and i should say and this is the way we this is the proper way to draw the benzene ring is with a circle inside so not the alternating single and double bonds which is misleading because it doesn't have uh, double bonds so a hexagon with a circle inside it represents the benzene ring so in this case we removed a hydrogen and stuck on some other substituent Okay, so we've left with six carbons, only five hydrogens, one there, two, three, four, five. This hydrogen's been removed and replaced by uh, some group X. So very often they give you the molecular structure of a aromatic hydrocarbon and ask you to work out the molecular formula. So for example, here we've replaced one of the HGs with an OH. So 
the Leica formula is C, oh, got the ring of six carbons, C6, H, one, two, three, four, five, that one's been removed, so C6, H5, OH, or you could write C6, H6, O, that'd be an acceptable Molecular formula. This is actually, you don't need to know the name of this, but uh, it's called phenol. And another very common substitution is to remove the H and stick on a CH3. So that would have the chemical formula C7, H. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, none there, but 3 there. So that would be C7, H8. And this is known as toluene. Okay, so here's three aromatic hydrocarbons. Try and work out their molecular formulas. So pause the tape for a minute, work out the molecular formula for each one, then I'll go through the answers. Okay, for the first one, we've got six carbons in the ring and one there. So it's C7H5 in the ring, two there. H7 Br. And this one we've got the six carbons in the ring. We've got three chlorines, well sorry hydrogens, we've got one, two, three hydrogens, three chlorines and one oxygen. And the last one we've got the six carbons in the ring and one there. So C7 Hydrogens have one there, one there, and three there, so that's five. We've got three nitrogens and six oxygens. Okay. Just out of interest, this is quite a famous compound. Uh, so the benzene ring with the OH group is phenol. Here we've got three chlorines attached. So the name of this compound is trichlorophenol, which some of you may know as TCP, that antiseptic which Certainly when I was young, when you had a sore throat, you used to gargle in TCP. Okay. This is also a famous compound. Basically you've got toluene and you've got three nitro groups. So this one is tri nitro toluene, otherwise known as TNT which is quite a famous, if that's the right word, explosive. Okay, so make sure you can work out the molecular formula of the aromatic hydrocarbon from the molecular structure. So by now you should be able to explain the structure of benzene in terms of sp2 hybridization and delocalized electrons. Explain why the benzene ring is a very stable structure. Recall what is meant by a phenyl group. And work out the molecular formula of an aromatic compound from its structural formula.